Hello young scientists! It's another day to explore the amazing world of science. I am glad and grateful to be with you today and be part of your learning adventure and exploring the wonders of science world. I am Teacher Grace and I'll be journeying with you today. Are you excited to learn new things with me today? Yeah! Great! With this exciting adventure. So, what are we waiting for? Come, let's explore! For today's learning adventure, you'll be able to explain the uses of water from different sources in the context of daily activities. Specifically, you will learn to identify the different uses of water and the different sources of water. How well do you know about the sources and uses of water? Let us try to find out by answering the following questions. Are you ready kids? Let's begin! Directions Read the sentences carefully. Write your answer in your notebook. You'll be given 5 seconds to answer each item. Number 1. What do you call to the one of the most essential substances on the planet, which all plants and animals need to live, and which is also vital to the human body? Letter A. Food B. Land C. Plant D. Water Timer starts now. Time is up. What is your answer? Good job! It's letter D. Water. Number 2. Which of the following terms describe the kind of salt-free water present in open yet small bodies of water such as rivers, streams, creeks, and ponds? A. Sea water. B. Rain water. C. Fresh water or D. Ground water. Timer starts now. Time is up. What is your answer? Great. It's letter C. Fresh water. Number 3. Which of the following describes the kind of water located under the Earth's crust and derived from seepage in the ground? A. Seawater B. Rainwater C. Fresh water or D. Ground water Timer starts now! Time is up! What is your answer? Amazing! Letter D, groundwater. Number 4. What term do you use to describe a salty water that contains a lot of salt? A. Seawater B. Rainwater C. Freshwater or D. Groundwater Timer starts now. Time is up! What is your answer? Awesome! It's letter A, C1. Number 5. What do you call those water comes from the clouds and it flows from land into streams and rivers? A. Seawater B. Rainwater C. Freshwater or D. Groundwater Timer starts now. Time is up! What is your answer? Excellent! It's letter B. Rainwater. Kids, did you know that water can be obtained from a variety of places? 
It can originate from public or private sources. It may originate from either a small or large body of water. Clouds are the source of rainwater. There are three major water bodies. The type of water is determined by the source. Seawater. It contains plenty of salt. It is also called hard water. Best example is the sea. Fresh water. It is also called surface water. It does not contain salt. Fresh water comes from the rain. In cold countries, it also comes from snow. Fresh water comes from the waterfalls, rivers, and lakes while groundwater found beneath the Earth's surface. It is accumulated in the underground layer called water table. It is a safe source of water and the cleanest water. Clouds, icebergs, and glaciers are other water bodies. Evaporating water produces clouds. Glaciers and icebergs are strong water that can only be found in extremely cold places and hold approximately two-thirds of the world's fresh water. Fresh water is used for cleaning, shaving, bathing, cooking, and other domestic chores are all done with it. Fresh water is essential for plant and animal life to exist. The animals are offered it to drink for survival. Animals and humans will die of starvation if they do not have access to water. Rivers, wetlands, and springs provide recreational opportunities like swimming or boating. Shrimp, crabs, and shellfish can be found in abundance in clean rivers and lakes. Rivers and waterways with polluted water can be used as boating roads. Water can also be used in factories and fields for drainage and cattle watering. The home of marine plants and animals is seawater. Health and medicine are the primary uses for these plants and animals. Swimming, boating, and windsurfing are all activities that take place in the seas and ocean. International shipping and maritime navigation routes, groundwater, construction, and operation of extraction wells are common. Construction and operation of extraction wells are commonly used to extract it for rural, urban, and industrial purposes. It contains earth moisture, permafrost or frozen soil, immobile water in bedrock of very low permeability, and water from deep geothermal or oil formations. It is frequently less expensive, more comfortable, and less polluted than surface water. Water is one of the most vital elements on the planet. Water is needed for the survival of all plants and animals. There would be no life on Earth if there was no water. Apart from drinking it to survive, people have many other uses for water. These include cooking, washing their bodies, washing clothes, washing and cooking and eating utensils such as bellies, saucepans, crockery, and cutlery. Keeping houses and communities clean. Recreation, such as swimming pools. Keeping plants alive in gardens and parks. Water is also required for the healthy growth of farm crops and livestock, and it is used in the production of a variety of goods. Another very essential thing is that the water people drink and use for other purposes is clean. This means 
that the water must be clear and free of germs and chemicals, not cloudy. Potable water is water that is suitable for drinking. One of the reasons this occurs less frequently nowadays is that many countries ensure that their drinking water supplies are safe. Germs and chemicals that can pollute water are routinely tested in water supplies. If the water is not safe to drink, it is treated. All the action taken to make sure that drinking water is potable and is called water treatment. Well done kids! Hi. You already know the different sources and uses of water. Now, let's check if you really understood the discussion by answering this activity. Read the following statements carefully. Write yes if the statement is correct and no if it is not. Write your answer on your notebook. You will be given 5 seconds to answer each question. Number 1. Fresh water is found in streams, rivers, and waterfalls. Timer starts now. Time is up! What is your answer? Good job! The answer is yes. Number 2. Oceans and waters are used for international trade routes. Your timer starts now. Time is up! What is your answer? Nice! The answer is yes. Number 3. Groundwater is the best supply of water. Your timer starts now. Time is up. What is your answer? Very good. The answer is yes. Number 4. Water is not needed for the survival of plants, animals, and humans. Timer starts now. Time is up. What is your answer? Awesome! The answer is no. Number 5. We need to conserve water for future use. Timer starts now. Time is up. What is your answer? That's great! The answer is yes. Identify the different sources of water based on the pictures shown in column A and choose the correct name of each picture in column B. You will be given 30 seconds to answer this activity. Let's check your answers. Do you have the same answers with these kids? That's great! Did you get all the correct answers? Excellent! Did you enjoy all the activities? Wow! I am glad to know that. Congratulations, kids! I know you understood our lesson for today. Now, let's have a shorter recap. Three-fourths of the earth consist of water. Sea water contains plenty of salt. It is also called hard water. Groundwater considered to be safe water. Sea waters are home of aquatic animals. Ocean is the biggest form of water where international transportation routes are present. 
Surface water comes mostly in the rain. Groundwater is mostly used for household such as cleaning, washing, and bathing. Let us do our best in conserving water and use water wisely and properly. Congratulations kids! You're almost done! Now, it's time to assess your learning for today's lesson. Complete the crossword puzzle by filling in a word that fits each given hint. Choose the best word in the box below. You will be given two minutes to answer this activity. Let's start! Your timer starts now. Time is up. Let's check your answers. Were you able to get the correct answers, kids? Excellent! Congratulations, kids! You all did great today. Good job! Did you enjoy our science exploration, kids? Can you explain the uses of water from different sources in the context of daily activities? Great! Hope you can answer all the activities in your module. And hope that you have a great time learning with me today. Let's learn more interesting things about science in the next episodes. Once again, I am Teacher Gray saying, Develop a passion for learning. If you do, you will never cease to grow. By Anthony J. D'Angelo. Thank you and goodbye. I love TV, pilot TV now. I love TV, pilot TV now. I love TV, pilot TV now. I love TV. Manood at makinig sa pag-aaral namin at tingin magsulat at mag-isa Magbilang halik ka na Ipag ibang kalamang sa TV mo masusundan Edukasyon Sa ginong pang mas go on We're happy learn Come on No one